Hi and welcome to my video about Cambridge in New Zealand. I had a lovely time house sitting up in Cambridge. Um, it's up near the top of the centre of the North Island. My brother moved into a, a unit in a rest home up in Hamilton. He'd had a stroke so I really wanted to go and visit him so I went house sitting in Cambridge which is only about 10-15 um, minutes away. But it's also changed. I haven't been up there for 40 years. I was absolutely terrified at the traffic and so many people and the big roads and everything had changed. It was just completely different to when I'd been up there and it was such a, like, just a, a, big, a big town, but yeah, not like it is now. So I was very lucky. My son, Matt, who lives in Papamoa, which is just outside of uh, Tauranga, on the coast he came over with his girlfriend for a day trip and he took me over to the Hamilton Gardens which are absolutely beautiful so I've got lots of photos and things from there and then he took me to see my brother and we had a really lovely visit that was really nice then he took me out to lunch and we drove around and around for honestly an hour trying to find a park and all the car parks were totally full because this is just before Christmas everyone's doing their shopping it was just hectic there's this big, huge Christmas tree in the centre of town of the city, Hamilton City. And I and then I'm just making jokes like, oh, we've seen that before. Oh, look at that. You know, we're going around it again. We're just going round and round in circles trying to find a park. Finally found a park at the bottom of a at the back of a museum. Um, so that was okay. We just had to walk from then onwards. But yeah, so it was a really lovely day. He bought a beautiful lunch for me. And it was really nice seeing him. It was lovely seeing my brother. I even saw my cousin. So she drove me over to my brother the next time. So I was really lucky I didn't have to do the driving at all. So um, the drive up there was uh, scary enough with the Christmas traffic. Everyone going on holiday. Everyone passing each other and people passing on the, the yellow lines. Which means that you're not meant to pass somebody. And so somebody coming straight for me. And I'm thinking, right, this is it, you know. Thought there was going to be a collision it was pretty scary I don't usually go out during the holidays and go on the roads I'm usually a bit of a hermit and I stay home where it's nice and safe but it was beautiful it was lovely in Taupo on the way home Taupo is the big lake in the middle of the North Island on the way home it was just so windy and so cold um, it was just almost like being in winter it was just so cold and so windy so there's a few little videos and photos of that and uh, some friends. I met up with some crochet ladies um, from a crochet group on Facebook. So we were chatting to each other and one lady came down with her two little kitties all the way from Huntley, which is about an hour's drive. So I thought that was really nice for her to come down and see me and we went for a walk around town and we had a bit of a picnic in the backyard where I was staying because there was a trampoline, a little playhouse and lots of other toys for her kitties to play with. And I got to push the pram, so that was really cool. And another friend and her partner, they took me over to Carapero Lake or on the river of Hamilton, Hamilton River and uh, the Waikato River. And that was really pretty. I'd not been out there for like 40 years, so <laughs> that was really nice. And we had lunch out there and then she invited me back for dinner. So that was really lovely to meet up with those ladies. So apart from that, I didn't really go exploring very much. It was just so busy on the roads and then there was New Year. It was just really nice. I just had Christmas by myself in the house watching movies and I looked after the cat and the cat was really friendly. So that was nice. So um, I think in the end though, it was nearly three weeks. I was quite glad to trip home. I would have slept over, but I'm still not totally self-contained in the van so I just thought I might as well just keep heading home. I stopped off over in Thai uh, Happy for some bit of a half hour break and a bit of lunch. So it's quite nice having a comfortable bed now. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the van finished so I can be self-contained. If you stop over where you're not meant to be and you're not totally self-contained, it's a $200 fine. Uh, probably for each day, so <laughs> at the moment I'm not going to risk it. But I'll be taking a video of the inside of the van once I get it done. So that'll be cool. So I hope you enjoy just my little look around, my little videos and my little photos. It's just another little side thing that I thought I'd do to show people a little bit of New Zealand, um, apart from all the crochet that I've been doing. 
So enjoy. Thank you. Bye. No wonder it's absolutely freezing cold. So here's our beautiful mountains. So I'm forgetting which one's ours. Is that Tongariro? And is this Ruapahu or Narahoe? I have absolutely forgotten. So it's windy as anything and I'm freezing cold. <laughs> okay. So this is the playground in Taupo and then just up there is the what they call the superloos and you pay to have a visit to the toilet or a shower and lots of shops goes around in a big block really nice place and then you've got the huge big lake down on the end there and beautiful gardens you can go for a walk so I want to time them at this time and so I'm going to um, stop and do some tiki touring on the way home. But I'm trying to get there to Cambridge by one o'clock. And it's already taken me four hours because it's so busy on the roads. So I better get a move on.
Sunday. This is Lake Taupo. It's trying to push me over. Still a bit of snow on the mountain. It's really windy out here today. And there's campers right behind me. I don't know if you can see out the back, getting blown around by the wind. <laughs> so I'm just having a break, sitting on the side of the road. Just done all those hairpin turns, which I absolutely hate. All right, so we'll get off again. Hang on, what's out this side? Not much snow out there. But it is cold. Right, so I'm just having a little picnic in the back of my van on the bed with some fruit and a um, peanut brownie that someone gave me. So I'm down here at Tai Happy where there's always toilets and there's always good toilets at Taupo. And then I've come all the way up from here at Cambridge. So State Highway 1 goes all the way down here. I'm at Tai Happy. So I'll keep going and I'll keep going and I'll get just before Levin and you've got Foxton. So I'm not far to go now. It's a pretty straight run. you just got to get over the Mangawekas, which are really steep hills. Really, really windy on a desert road. And a um, couple of people passing in stupid places on blind corners and overtaking on yellow lines so it's starting to get a little bit crazy so you're sort of glad to get home after a while so i'm just sitting here everyone's getting their coffees it's the back and to the left you can't see my curtains are closed but yeah so make sure I'm holding this the right way. So I came from up here, all the way down here, Tapo, Turangi. I'm in Tai Happy, and I'll go all the way down here to Foxton. So I'm not far from home now. I might stop in Bulls and get myself a pizza for an early tea. <laughs> That'll be cheats. So yeah, it was really, really windy off Lake Taupo. Really, really windy. Um, blowing a gale and blowing a gale on a desert road. So, nearly home. But I'm just having a sit and a rest. So it's just after 11, or maybe it's 11.30. I can't remember. Plenty of time to cruise home. <laughs> 